Hey guys, and welcome to YRG's Diamond Desert. These 13 moves, yeah, I said 13. I never really been that good with math. These 13 moves I'm about to teach you are what make YRG the greatest workout on the planet. Now, I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna make you think I'm crazy. YRG gives you high cardio with no impact. How's that possible? The secret's dynamic resistance. That's what makes YRG different. Dynamic resistance. It's my technique of engaging your muscles as you move from one position to another. This jacks your heart rate up and gets you in the fat burning zone while building total body strength. That's right. No running, no climbing, no lifting. No, I don't lift. I haven't lifted weights in over four years. And don't worry if it doesn't make sense right now, it will. I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know to get in incredible shape. And I don't care where you're starting from. I'm gonna help you get to your goal. Now here's something that's important. Everybody's heard no pain, no gain, right? Wrong. Pain means pain. With YRG, I'm gonna make sure you don't work too hard because believe it or not, working too hard can be just as harmful as not working hard enough. If your heart rate gets too high, I'm going to want to show you how to back it off a bit. I want you to make the YRG work at your own. The Diamond Dozen is going to give you the foundation to own this workout. And you can come back to the Diamond Dozen anytime you want. So what are you waiting for? Make this YRG work at your own. Stay in the fat burning zone and own the dozen. All right, let's do it. Before I show you my first move, I want you to see where my heart monitor is at. 92 beats a minute. Okay, ignition in the touchdown. That's our first move. What muscles are you gonna use? Literally all of them. You're gonna use your toes, your feet, your calves. You're gonna use your quads, your glutes, your adductors. You're gonna use your shoulders, your biceps, triceps, forearms. You're even gonna use your hands, okay? Now, I'm gonna do it first and I'm gonna show you how to do it, and then you're gonna do it with me, all right? Here's the deal. Slightly bend your knees. Automatically, you can see my quads are automatically engaged. Then I'm gonna pick my toes up and grip into the mat. You can see my feet and my calves are like rocks. They're engaged and flexed. So now my quads, feet, and calves. Now these are your adductors. I'm gonna to try to straighten those legs and try to pull my legs together, but I'm not gonna move them. It's an isometric movement. So now my adductors, quads, calves, and feet are engaged. Now I'm gonna tuck my tailbone and squeeze my glutes. Ladies, this is the way to hold back the hands of time. And guys, this is the way to jack your heart rate up because your glutes and your quads are the strongest muscles in your body. Now, I want you to bring your arms straight out in front of your body. We got the lower half covered. Now let's work on the upper half. I want you to imagine your body's a fire hydrant. And when the fire hydrant opens up, bang! Your tricep, your bicep, your forearm, your hands, your fingers are shooting out that kind of energy. I want you to take a top couple deep breaths right here, just two. And on your first inhalation, I want you to reach for the sky, touch down. Now look up at your hands and lengthen your neck Lengthen your spine, exhale. As I lower, I'm moving with dynamic resistance. Right here, I'm turning my palms down, rolling my shoulder blades on my back, and creating my own pressure. It's like moving through clay. I'm gonna take it one more time, reach up, and then we're gonna see where my heart rate was, just from standing here, reaching my arms up into the sky. Right here, where's my heart rate right now? 126. How is that possible? Going from 92 to 126? It's because I'm engaging every muscle as I move. Now you do it with me. Slightly bend your knees, engage those quads, pick up the toes, grip into the mat. Straighten the legs and try to pull those adductors together. Now tuck your tailbone tight, squeeze your glutes, bring your arms out. And I want you to imagine your body's a fire hydrant and bang, turn it on. Triceps, biceps, forearms. Don't be able to close those fingers. Inhale, reach up. 
in the touchdown. Look high. Exhale lower. When you get to the halfway mark, turn your palms down. Close out the position. Inhale, turn them up. Reach. Touchdown. Exhale. Lower. So what are the benefits? Ignition is exactly what it sounds like. You're igniting your body and firing up to get yourself in the fat burning zone standing still. Ignition in a touchdown starts to tone and tighten all those muscles and stabilizes the joints surrounded by those engaged muscles. This move is the foundation of YRG. And when you are doing touchdown correctly, using dynamic resistance, you can jack your heart rate up just by moving your arms. Okay, on to the next move. The diamond cutter is my signature move, so you better get it right. I'm gonna be watching. In the diamond cutter, we're using the entire lower part of our bodies here while engaging our hands, forearms, biceps, triceps, shoulders, traps, and even our pecs. My buddy Lindsay over here is gonna demonstrate while you watch first. Then you're gonna do it with her. Okay, Lindsay. You know what to do. Straighten your feet out, po toes pointed straight out, slightly bend your knees. Let's engage those quads. Pick up the toes, grip them in. Calves. Now, pull those adductors together, straighten those legs and really pull them in. Tuck that tailbone tight, connect the thumb and index, spread those fingers wide. As you inhale, taking it back in a sign of the diamond cutter, bring your arms out to a T, clinch those fists tight, exhale, hug it up, yeah. Inhale, tension. Shoulders back, chest out. At ease. Great job, buddy. Okay, now you're gonna do it together. I'm gonna take it through a little bit quicker. I'm assuming you know how to engage the lower part of your body. So, lock in the lower part of your body. Engage everything. Spread your fingers wide. Take a deep breath. Lean back in the diamond cutter. Bring your arms out to a T. Clinch those fists tight and hook it up. Inhale, tension. Shoulders back, chest out. At ease. Tremendous, kid. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> so what are the benefits? When you do the diamond cutter, you're improving your posture and realigning your spine. This move will electrify your entire body. And then you get the whole get up, which engages your chest and your arms. But to tell you the truth, I just love doing it. So just have fun with it. Okay, on to the next. Our next move, bar back, both bent-legged and stiff-legged. We're gonna be using our quads, hamstrings, calves, triceps, and even our shoulders to lengthen our spine. My buddy Stacy here, she's gonna demonstrate it first, so you watch, then we'll do it together. Now, Stacy, when you bend over, show me when you first started, how far could you bend over? That's no lie, those are original pictures right there. I want you to fold forward, bend your knees though, okay, but drop your head. Now I want you to come into a bent-legged bar back. So drop your butt and really work your quads. Flatten that back, pulling her spine long. Her triceps are engaged, her shoulders, her traps back here are pulling together, and she's working her quads. Now fold forward. Now straighten your legs and make them stiff. Pull the muscle off the kneecap. Now come into stiff-legged bar back. Pull that spine long. Now, some of you are going to have a problem making that stiff legged like that. That's okay. Just bend it a little bit. Work it and make it your own. Exhale. I want you to bring your hands across your calves and pull yourself deep. Look at this flexibility. This is what's possible if you do bent legged and stiff legged bar back correctly. Now, slowly roll up. Amazing, right? It's all real. Okay, now we're going to do it together. First, I want you to bend over and see how far you can go and take a picture of it. So, fold forward. Let yourself just hang there. Now bend your knees. Bend your knees at home. Now bring your hands up onto your thighs. Pull your spine long. I want you to engage these triceps. Roll these shoulder blades back so that you're trying to pinch them together and flex those quads. That's a perfect flat back there. The spine is long. Exhale, fold forward. Now go as close as you can into a stiff-legged bar back, pulling the muscle off your kneecap. Pull it long and straight, come up a little higher, Stace. Pull your head long. You're trying to lengthen that spine. Now you do it at home, as Stacy's doing it. Just try to reach back and grab your hamstrings or your calves and exhale, fold forward. Great job, roll right up. This is a woman who had no flexibility in the beginning. Killer. So what were the benefits? 
Both bent and stiff-legged bar back help you lengthen your spine and get the spinal fluid moving. It's all about getting your body warmed up, okay? On to the next move. Now we're gonna do YRG Catcher into Thunderbolt. We're really firing up the quads, hip flexors, and also starting to work your knee stabilizers here. Now, Diane is gonna come in here and do it for you first. You watch, then you'll do it together. So what I want you to do, Diane, is to go right up into touchdown, and I want you to lower into Thunderbolt. Perfect, perfectly aligned in Thunderbolt. Her knees are forward, her feet are forward, her arms are by her ears. Now as she squats and drops in the catcher, first thing she's gonna do is spread her knees and feet out wide, bring her hands to her chest, and as she lowers, moving dynamic resistance, she's going to push, exhale, and fold forward. Inhale, reach up, grab the ball, biceps to ears, and lift back up into Thunderbolt. Three. Three, two, one. Perfect, hold it there, turn your toes and knees in, back in the perfect Thunderbolt there, fold forward, and roll right up again. Okay, great job. Okay, now you do it with me. First thing we're gonna do is come right up in a touchdown. Exhale, just lower in the Thunderbolt. Now, turn both knees and feet out. Bring your hands in tight. Squat, drop, and push. Roll forward. Inhale, reach up, grab the ball, and count with me. Three, two, one, hold it there. Exhale, straighten your legs, fold forward. Let yourself hang and roll up one vertebrae at a time. So, what are the benefits? Ever feel like your hips are too tight? Well, this move is really gonna work that area. While also strengthening those stabilizer muscles around your knees. And of course, your quads and your glutes are gonna get a big time workout here, which will really help to shape and tone the lower half of your body. Pretty sweet, huh? Okay, on to the next. We're gonna be doing Cobra to Down Dog a lot in YRG. Cobra activates the lower back muscles and triceps. When you get the Down Dog, we're firing up the hamstrings, the calves, the quads, the shoulders, and even the back. It feels amazing. I'm gonna bring Kerry in to do it first, so you watch, and then you'll do it together. So go into a push-up position, right up on your legs. I want everything engaged, tight. Now, just lower in one movement all the way to the ground. Perfect. Now, notice that her feet just went flat. Her legs are loose, her glutes are loose, her hands are right under her shoulders. As she inhales up into Cobra, look up. Exhale, fold forward, drop your head, curl your toes, and push right into Down Dog. Perfect. Her head dropped between her shoulders. She's strengthening her shoulders. Her chest is pushing back towards her thighs. Her heels are on the ground, yours may not be but they will be in time. Now, I just want you to lower right down in the table. Now, we're gonna show the modified version of this, and then you're gonna do it with her. So go into a push-up on your knees, Kira. Perfect, all the way down. Inhale up into Cobra. Exhale, lower your body, drop your head, come into table, and push right in the down dog. Perfect. That's the way to modify. Anybody can do that right there. Push your chest back towards your thighs, and just lower to your knees. Okay, now you're gonna do it with her. So get into a push-up position, whether you wanna be on your knees or in a perfect plank position. Lower straight down, all the way down. Feet flat, hands flat, glutes loose. Inhale up into Cobra, roll your shoulders back. Exhale, lower down, drop your head, and push right in a down dog. Okay, that's it. We do it a lot, so know it. Good job, buddy. Thank you. So what are the benefits? Cobra really stretches those lower abdominal muscles and opens up your chest. This will help you with your posture and make you even stand taller. In Down Dog, you begin to strengthen and stretch your calves, hamstrings, glutes, shoulders, and your upper chest muscles. Another great benefit to Down Dog, your core is working big time as it keeps you balanced. Sweet, right? Okay, on to the next. Next up, 
YRG slow burn push-ups. Now, don't be intimidated by the name. I designed them so anybody could do my push-ups. The secret is know is when and how to modify. You're gonna be using your chest, your triceps, your biceps, your lats, your glutes, your hamstrings, and your quads. Yeah, I said your glutes, your hamstrings, and your quads. All working together when you follow the correct form for YRG push-ups. Now, Tamara's gonna show you first. Yes, I brought a woman to teach you how to do push-ups. Who, by the way, couldn't do one push-up on her knees when you first started, am I lying? It's true. <laughs> Damn right, it's true. Okay, listen, you're gonna watch Tamara do it first, then we'll do it together. So T, get into a plank position here. I want you to make sure that your hands are right underneath your shoulders. Your fingers are wide. Now, let me show you something here. If I go to grab her leg, it just comes right out. I'll guarantee you're the same way. Don't let that happen. You gotta engage everything. When I go to grab her leg now, look at that. Her whole body's coming with me because she's tight. She's tucked in. Now just simply lower your knees, T. Perfect. She's still got perfect form here. Her tailbone is tucked in. Now she's gonna lower for a count of three. Count it out. Three, two, one. Hold it there. Three, two, one. Push it up. Three, two, one. Tremendous. Now we're gonna try one more time, a little different. Lower, three, two, one. Pick those knees off the ground. That's how you're building strength. Hold it there, two, one. Lower your knees and push straight up. Three, two, one. Tremendous, great job. All right, T, thank you. Okay, now you're gonna do it with me. Lock it in, hand underneath your shoulder. Fingers spread wide. Lock those toes in. If you need to lower to your knees, do so. So let's do one just like that. Lowering it down, three, two, one in the crocodile and hold it here. Three, two, one, push up with control. Three, two, one. Lift those knees off if you got that in you. Lower it down, three, two, one. Hold it there, three, two, one. Maybe you gotta lower those knees and push up. Three, two, one. One last time, lower in three, two, one. Hold it there, I know you can do it. Two, one, push up, three. Two, one, just use those knees wherever you need to lever them. Tremendous job. So, what are the benefits when you're doing my push-ups? I know most people hate doing push-ups, but it's a hell of a lot better than paying a bunch of money to go to the gym to use a ton of weight that's gonna put all kinds of stress on your body and your joints. YRG push-ups are really a strengthening and muscular endurance move that builds your chest, your shoulders, your arms, and your core, plus they help jack up your heart rate fast. All right, guys, good job. On to the next move. Table in the cat lift and cat arch and broken table. These moves may not seem like much, but we're firing up your abs, lats, chest, shoulders, glutes, and even your back. We're also knocking the rust off that spinal vertebrae at the same time. The yoga doc, what's up bro? Now listen, you're gonna watch first as the yoga doc shows you how to do it, then you're gonna do it with him. Bro, hop in the table. Now I want you to notice something here. Yoga doc's fingers are spread as wide as he can go. He's creating an unbelievable base and his hands are directly under his shoulders. You look to the back, his hips are directly in line with his knee here. His back is completely flat. Now it's going up a little bit because he's got these huge shoulders up here. So here's what he's gonna do next. He's gonna take it in the cat lift. As he inhales, he's gonna lift his head, roll his shoulders back and pull his belly to the ground and really stretch that spine. Now watch this. As he goes into cat arch, he'll drop his head, arch his back, tuck his tailbone and look at that arch. That's a live spine, that's what you want. Come back into table. Now we're gonna take it in a broken table. What you're gonna do here, Doc, is mount that right hand underneath your shoulder and take the right foot straight back off your heel. Perfect. See how he's straight off that line, pushing off with his heel, not his toes. Now you're gonna take your left hand and pull it straight out right in front of you and try to get some length there. Perfect. Come back down in the table. Now you're gonna do it together. Here's what I want you to do. Get down in table just like Yoga Doc is right now. Make sure you're flat, all right, ready? 
Inhale in the cat lift, lift your head, roll your shoulders back, pull your belly to the ground. Exhale, cat arch, drop your head, arch your back, tuck your tailbone. Beautiful. Now, come back in the table, and I want you to make sure your right hand is right underneath the right shoulder. Take your right foot straight back, right off the heel. Now, take that opposite hand straight out in front of you. And I want you to stay there for a count of three, two, one. If you're shaking, cool. That means you're turning muscles on. OK, Doc, great job, man. Table, cat arch, and cat lift will help release tension in your neck, shoulders, and your arms. In broken table position, you're working and stretching opposite parts of your body while improving your balance. And you're toning and tightening your shoulders, glutes, and triceps. Not bad, huh? OK, on to the next. Bang! Up next, we're working the quads, glutes, hamstrings, calves, even our toes. And while all that's going on, our core is engaged and we're stretching the hip flexors on the back leg as well. Now, my buddy Dre is going to come in here and he's going to show you how to do it. So watch first and then we're going to do it together. Dre, step right into a lunge. I want you to notice something here, that his knee is directly over his foot. His toes are wrapped into the mat. His calves are engaged, his quads. Look at his tricep, that's engaged. Back here, his heel is turned out. He's engaging his calves, his hamstrings, his glutes. Phenomenal positioning. Now, make that easier, Dre. How are you gonna make that easier? Step in, I'm gonna do it again. Step in, keep going. I mean, that's how easy you can make it. Just keep stepping in. How else could you make this easier? Just simply lower into a knee. You make this whatever you wanna make it. Make the YRG work out your own. Okay, great. Now, we're gonna do it together, okay? So get ready and step in, pick your other leg you want, Dre, your opposite leg, step into that lunge. What I want you to focus on is having that knee, like, like Dre has, right over his ankle. Triceps engage, power, pushing off with the balls of his foot and his toes, hamstrings. Now I want you to modify it, just simply lower to a knee. It's that easy. Come back out of it. Now step up three times, one, two, three. That's it. Thank you, bro. Great job. Appreciate it. You may not realize it, but getting to the point where you are completely balanced is the foundation of overall fitness. This will really help tone and tighten your leg muscles from your glutes all the way down to your toes. And everybody wants skinny toes, right? <laughs> okay, on to the next. Now I'm gonna take you through Road Warrior One and two. The muscles you're gonna be using are your hip flexors, quads, feet, shoulders, and back. So why don't you just do it with me right here from the get-go. What I want you to do is point your right foot forward, not to the side, straight out. I want you to make it sure that you're cutting the instep of your back foot so you're straight out. Not over here, not over here, straight behind. Now check my knee out. You don't wanna be like this. You also don't want to be like this. You want to have your knee directly over your ankle, your toes gripped into the mat. So you're engaging your feet and your calves. Now your quads. Now on your back leg, you're anchoring it. Don't have your toes off the ground like this right here. You want to grip those toes, especially that pinky toe in, engaging this quad and that calf. Now, here's where you're really going to amp it up. Try to pull those legs together like scissors. Now for Road Warrior One, you're gonna square your hips out straight forward and reach up into Road Warrior One. Rolling your shoulders back here and engaging your hands, your forearms, and your biceps. Now take Road Warrior One into Road Warrior Two slowly using dynamic resistance. Move your right hand forward your left hand back. Notice my arms aren't doing this. They're like this, they're engaged. I'm spreading my fingers, I'm engaging my biceps, my shoulders, my forearms, and my hands. You're really gonna benefit from doing these because you're strengthening and stretching out your hip flexors, you're toning and tightening your quads and your inner thighs, and actually strengthening your arches and the other muscles in your feet. Both road warrior positions will also help open up your shoulders and your upper back which of course will improve your overall posture. Are you starting to get the picture? 
We're rebuilding your body piece by piece. All right, good job. On to the next move. DR cables and curls. These are all about your arms, biceps, triceps, and forearms. Shiloh's gonna come out here and do it for you first, so you watch, then you'll do it together. Shiloh, I want you to go into a, a road warrior position, so take that right foot up forward, bend that knee, and we're gonna go into the cables first. So come into a road warrior two position, turn your palms up, grab those cables, and pull them in as you count. Three. Three Look two, at that, look at the shake. One. Hold it, this is dynamic resistance. She is really working it. Now turn your palms out and push away. Three. Three. Two, one. Pulling away from each other. One more time, Shy. Do it again. Three. Three, two, one. Working those buys. Beautiful. And push it out. Three, two, one. Great job. All right. Now we're going to take you in the curls. I want you to stand right there in the middle. You got the center spot, darling. Okay. So root your feet. Lock those legs. Straighten those legs a little more and pull those adductors together. Okay. Grab those dumbbells and pull them up. Three. Three. When someone's One. really doing this correctly, they're gonna be shaken because they're making their own weight. Turn your fingers out and push it down. Three, Three two, one. Tension, open up those shoulders. Beautiful, spread those forearms. Great job. Okay, now you're gonna do it together. So step that foot out, square that foot in the back, bend that knee and come into a road warrior two position. You at home, turn your palms up, grab the cables, and pull, three. You Good. should be feeling it right here in your buys. Not going farther than this. Don't take it in farther. She's perfect right here. Now turn your fingers out and push, three. three. Two, one. Trying to pull your fingertips away. Do it one more time. Pull it in with her. Pull it in, three. three. Count with Charlotte Two. home. Two, one. Beautiful, and push it out, three. three. Two. One. Great job. You guys are getting your own personal trainer. Good job. Now we're going to take you to curls. You're getting your own personal trainer right here in your own living room. Okay. Now what I want you to do, root your feet. Lock your quads. Straighten your legs. Pull those adductors together and reach down and grab those dumbbells. Imagine what that weight is. Grab it and pull and count. Three. Three two. Again. One. Dynamic resistance. Feeling it. Turn your fingers out and push. Three. Three, two, one. Tension, take it back. Really open it up. Great job. All right, buddy. So what are the benefits? How about never having to lift another dumbbell or weight again? You see, dynamic resistance replaces the need for weights and eliminates stress on your joints while building muscle. Now, how cool is that? Okay, on to the next move. With dynamic resistance rows, the R rows, we're gonna work your lats and get a little bicep work in as well. But again, dynamic resistance is the key. So why don't we go through this together? I'm gonna step into a lunge position just to have a little bit of form here. I'm gonna reach out and grab the ball. I'm engaging just like that fire hydrant shooting off me. Here's the dynamic resistance. Drop the ball, grab the cables and pull. We're gonna do three here. Three, two, one. Roll your shoulders back, engaging your biceps, your triceps. Now I want you to turn your palms out and push. Reach out, grab it. We got two more. Drop it and pull. Three, two, one. Roll it back. You want to count with me. Trust me. Push. Three, two, one. Last time. Drop it and pull. Three, two, one, you can feel it in your back. You should feel it in your buys. Last one, three, two, one. Okay, the benefits. Similar to DR cables and curls. In that, it's all about the dynamic resistance. Replacing the need for weights. No stress on your joints at all. You're working to tone your back and your arms while increasing your heart rate. Nice, huh? Okay, moving on. When we do YRG punches, we're gonna be working our shoulders or lats and our arms while our entire lower body's engaged. 
So what I want you to do is go into a lunge position, but not a deep one. Just plant that left foot forward and come up with the balls of your foot and your back right and really engage those legs. Now, reach out and grab the ball and pull back your left hand. Take your right fist over and we're gonna do dynamic resistance punches. DR punching right now. And move with resistance. Three, two, one. Notice where my wrist is here. I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this, I'm not out of here, I'm locked in. And push, three, two, one. Let's do it one more time, both sides. Three, two, one. Notice I'm hitting the target. And push, three, two, one. Okay, that's the DR punches. Now let's go for the fast twitch. One, 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 two, one, three. We got three of them coming up. Ready? Let's hit it. One, 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 two, one, three. Open up that hand, reach out, grab the ball, and pull yourself right up. Great job. Okay, so what are the benefits? I use the punches for two main reasons. The first, right now, is to jack your heart rate up. This gets you right into the fat burning zone. The second might surprise you. By using your entire core and your lower body to remain balanced, you're toning and strengthening your legs and your abs without even knowing it. It just keeps getting better, doesn't it? All right, moving on. The final move in the diamond dozen, safety zone. Everybody say, ah. <laughs> in safety zone, you're not working, you're resting. That's right. You're relaxing all the muscles in your body and also tractioning your entire spine. Now, Angela's gonna come in here and demo it for you. You watch it first and then, well, you're gonna get to do it with her. So go right in the table, Angela. And now it's time to go into safety zone. So she's gonna flatten her back feet and sit right back into safety zone. Drop her head and elongate her spine. Now, if she really wants to get even deeper, she can spread her knees out even farther and really sink in there. See how her butt lowers? Her spine aligns straight all the way down. Her chin is chucked, and she's stretching out her shoulders. Perfect. Now, come right back up in the table. So do it right with hands. Just take it right back and sink right in the safety zone. Feel that entire stretch. This can happen for you at any point in the workout. This is your best friend, the safety zone. Thanks, Angie, you did a great job. So, what are the benefits? There's zero pressure on your back in this position. And you can go there anytime your heart rate goes over your zone. Or maybe you just need a break. YRG is all about making the YRG workout your own. So you've heard me talking about staying in your fat burning zone. How do you figure that out? Simple. Take 180 less your age. Me, I'm 52. So subtract 52, that puts you at 128. Now drop 20 clicks. From 128 to 108, I'm in my fat burning zone. If I go too far over that, trust me, I start backing off. There's even times I'll take myself in a safety zone to bring my heart rate down. You see, with YRG, you control your heart rate. If you want any more details, just go to the YRG Fitness Guide. It'll tell you everything you need to know. So that's it. Learning these 13 moves will help you get the most out of YRG. And you can always come back for a refresher course, so don't be a stranger here. And remember, strap on your heart rate monitor. And every time you hear this, you should check to make sure you're in your zone. You need to keep track of your own heart rate and know what your target zone is. This is the key component of the YRG fitness system. So learn it and let's do it.